when you are a constant, you, when you're in a constant situation that's never going to change, or you feel will never change, it's very, very difficult because after a while you become resentful of the situation. And so what's happened inside of yourself is, is there's some resentment that's built up over a period of time inside of yourself about the situation you're in with, with your husband. And, and because of that, this rage built up to such a state that now a spirit could also influence the rage. Do you follow me? And, and that's the, what actually triggered that event. So what that's telling you is that there is some rage inside of you that's built up about the powerlessness that you feel now in this situation. And it's just not there now. Yeah. And I'm spouting, I feel I'm spouting all the top of words, how I love him, and it doesn't matter, and he said, well, you've got to put me in a home, and all these sort of type of things. But the reason, the reason why you're feeling nothing's there is because you've had so many years without sexual contact, and so many years, too, without the without, um, of, of caring, I suppose you could say, being in a situation that you feel powerless to change. And, and the reason why you stayed in that situation is because you felt guilty about, about getting your needs met, about, about feeling what you feel and getting your needs met. And this is a very hard situation oftentimes, but what happens is that the anger inside of us builds up and builds up and builds up until a point that it reaches sort of like a crescendo. And, and it just becomes so overpowering that we act upon it. right? And usually spirits are then connected through the process and, and help the action as well. So my suggestion is to, is to look at all the areas of your life. So maybe when you go home, make a list of all the areas in your life for the last 12 years or so that you've felt unfulfilled and start addressing those areas with your husband. Now obviously he's not going to be able to fulfill some of those areas and you are going to have to look at alternatives to getting those feelings fulfilled or deal with the emotions that you're experiencing and release those emotions. Either one will need to, be, need to occur. If you don't do that, these feelings will just build up and build up into so much rage and also so much resentment that any feeling that was ever existing in your heart towards him will have died. Right. So you can certainly undo that. Because obviously if you love someone once, you can love them again, right? So that, and, and it's your choice what you do. But at the moment what's happening is you've suppressed yourself in order to love the other. And now, because of that, you don't love yourself or the other. And that's what's happened through this. So what you need to do is start actually addressing this love of self issue that's been suppressed for this time. Now, that may mean doing what he suggests. Like he suggested to you to, to, for him to go into home so you can have some feeling of freedom. You may actually, if you deal with some guilt and whatever other emotions you have about that, you may actually find that that leaves you free now to enjoy some things in your life and will actually relieve some of this pressure. He, there may be other solutions to the problem that you two together can agree to. But in the end, staying in the situation as it is is just going to increase your anger and it's going to increase the distance that you feel between yourself and your husband. And that is going to be even more damaging then than any damage that's already occurred. So my suggestion is really urgently take stock of what's going on and change it this week. Because you, you can start writing down some things you can change and change them this week. And the problem is that you're breaking. Now you're worried about breaking him, but you're breaking. No, it's not okay. Love of yourself doesn't sacrifice, like love of another doesn't sacrifice itself for love of yourself. If you're sacrificing yourself for another, you're not loving either yourself or them. He can feel your resentment. He can feel that building up. Don't believe that he can't. He can. And it's your guilt that's binding you, and you need to release this guilt so that you can at least start to have some of your own life back. 
Right? Otherwise, you're just going to get into a more resentful and more resentful and more resentful state. And he can already feel this from you. He wouldn't be making the suggestions he's already making if he wasn't already feeling these emotions from you. Sorry, getting very clingy. Clingy, yes. Yeah. Yeah. He can feel your distress. He can feel your distress. And of course he is worried about what that's going to mean. But at some, at what the problem is for you is that you have been loving him and sacrificing a lot of things within yourself. Now, there is a law of attraction going on too. And that is that, um, you know, there is an emotion from your childhood of wanting other people to, to fit into your life. There is an emotion there as well. You did enjoy right from the beginning, the feeling that he was besotted with you. And that emotion is an emotion you need to allow yourself to experience and work your way through as well. Because, to be frank, the being besotted was in a one, mainly in one direction. Well, my mum told me that my, my father was besotted with me, and he was executed by my father. So I was yes. Mm. And that's, that's why you search for a man who was besotted with you as well. So there's quite a few emotions inside of yourself to allow yourself to work through. My, my feeling is start working through the ones with your husband as soon as you possibly can because it's going to just get more and more out of hand if you don't. Sorry, I didn't hear that. Your mother? Yeah. yeah. Okay, does that help any? <coughs> Try th my suggestion this week. Yeah, but see, now you're talking from your guilt. Yeah. Now you're talking from your guilt, and you're not focused on what's going on inside of you. You focus on what's going on inside of him. And my suggestion is, you're going to need to start focusing on what's going on inside of you. Otherwise, this situation is going to get quite out of hand for you. Exactly. You're, you're even now worried about whether it will happen again. And mm. What got into you is this resentment building and building and building and building and building and building until the point, it gets to the point that it's so great that it's easy for now a spirit just to connect to you and get, get rid of the source of the problem, which, which for them is your husband. And, and the truth is that it's not the source of your problem. There's emotions inside of itself you do need to work your way through but you're not going to be working your way through them if you continue acting upon your guilt and just doing whatever you feel he needs. Because he certainly doesn't... He can feel your emotions. And this is the thing you're forgetting. He can feel that you're not loving him. That's why he's become more needy. He can feel that. So talk to him about that. Talk to him about how you feel. How, how, it's, how hard it's been for you. Release some of that emotion. Because if you don't, it's just going to get worse. You've never put yourself first. No. And it's going to be difficult for you to do this. But, but I'm, and I'm, by the way, not suggesting to put yourself first. I'm suggesting you need to put yourself at the same place as you've put him. Right? The truth is what you've done is you've done everything for, for him and you're not giving yourself any space to do anything for yourself. And that's where the, cause of, that's where the underlying cause of this problem begins.